Uh, well, I sit here before you as a middle-aged white guy uh, who is you know, fortunate in so many ways. Uh, I do believe that I have an important role to play in this tra transitional period. And the only way I can get back to that is if I listen to my colleagues, particularly those who have different lived experiences than I do. That's what this moment in history means to me in terms of really creating a city of Portland where everyone who lives here feels that they have an equal stake in the future of this community. And that starts with the fundamental belief on the part of everybody who lives here that they are safe in this community. And whether we like to hear it or not, regardless of what personal views we may hold today, the reality it is very clear, it's in our face, it's unmistakable that many, many people in this community who are residents in this community, they are our neighbors, they are our co-workers, they are our friends, they do not feel safe in the city of Portland. And that requires me, as the leader of this city, to fundamentally rethink what safety means in this community. And now I'm going to say this, I not only support the reforms that we put on the table, um, and I would argue this is the beginning. I actually believe we are biting off a lot right now. Because keep in mind, once we vote for the budget, we still have to implement all of these changes. And as many of you know, I have proposed the most significant overhaul of oversight and accountability to policing probably this century. And there was a really good piece that was uh, in the news.